を展開を行っている海外 IPP 分野では2010年6月末時点で7599メガワットと照射中トップの持ち分発電容量を誇り水事業においては数年内に給水人口で世界のトップ10入りを目指すまた電力水関連の建設請負分野でもアジア中東諸国をはじめ世界中で多くの実績を持っており今後もインフラ整備による社会的貢献と自身の収益基盤拡大を両立しつつさらなる新規ビジネスモデルの確立を図っていく<音楽>プラント産業機械部門は石油ガス化学製鉄セメント紙パルプなどのプラント分野クリーン開発メカニズムなどの環境プロジェクト分野産業機械整備機械分野交通プロジェクト分野の4つのセグメントで構成されている各セグメントでは顧客が推進するプロジェクトに対し当部門が培ってきた経験とノウハウを生かしベストソリューションを提供するとともに国内外の戦略的パートナーと協力しながら新たな事業の創出にも力を注いでいる。開発建設部門は傘下の事業会社とともに幅広く不動産事業を展開している国内マンション分譲事業ではグランスイートのブランド名で商品企画販売入庫後の管理サービスまでを一貫体制で行っている収益型不動産事業ではデベロッパーとしてオフィスビル商業施設を開発運営海外不動産開発事業では中国における日系初の不動産デベロッパーとして上海市を中心に 4,000 個の開発実績がある金融物流情報部門は商社の営業部門としては比較的新しい分野を担っておりさまざまなビジネスサービスを提供する事業を展開している金融保険分野では商社ならではのファンド運営事業リース事業保険仲介業を展開物流分野では顧客に最適な物流ソリューションを提供情報分野では企業向けのデータ通信ネットワークサービスなど総合的な IT サービスを提供している近年は資産運用業への本格参入クラウドコンピューティングおよび RFID の事業開発中国アセアン市場対策の強化など将来を見据えた施策も実施している丸紅は以上の12部門の活動のほかに社会福祉地球環境など重点テーマを設け社会への貢献にも早い段階から取り組んでいる社会福祉活動の柱は1974年に設立した丸紅基金である設立以来日本全国各地の社会福祉施設団体に毎年総額1億円の助成を続けている海外ではフィリピンなど東南アジア諸国に基金を設立奨学金寄付金を通じて地元に密着した支援を展開している地球環境への取り組みとしては事業活動における環境への配慮のほか環境保全活動全般に対する支援を積極的に展開再生可能エネルギー事業にもいち早く取り組んでいる経済性のみならず社会性環境性においてこれらの活動が評価され丸紅は持続可能性に優れた企業として外部機関からも認定されている社長の浅田でございますただいまご覧いただきましたように総合商社マルベニは150年を超える歴史を持ち世界71カ国に118カ所の営業拠点を設けて約3万人のグループ社員が幅広くビジネスを展開しておりますさて世界経済や経営環境は予想もつかない速度で変化しています
その中で丸紅はいかなる環境変化にも柔軟に対応できる人材を強化しリスクマネージメントを進化させることでさまざまなリスクに対峙しながら新たなビジネスチャンスに挑戦する体制を整えてまいりました加えて私たちが進めている中期経営計画においては資源インフラ環境生活の4つの分野に経営資源を重点配分し世界経済や地域経済のさらなる発展やますます重要度を増してきている環境問題へのソリューションの提供さらには新興諸国の消費の拡大を通じた生活水準の向上に寄与貢献してまいりたいと考えています総合商社はあらゆるステークホルダーの皆様からの信頼に基づいたご支援ご協力なくしては存立しえませんすべてのステークホルダーの皆様にとって丸紅が常に期待を超えるパートナーであり続けるために私たちは全社一丸となって持続的成長を通じた強い丸紅の実現に向けて努力してまいります期待を超えるパートナー丸紅The Way of the Merchant 私たちの会社は私たちの I want to provide light to a million people. This idea brought light to a million people's hearts. Another thought I want to help build the future of this country. This idea led to the education of those who could change the country. Another thought. I want to entrust these valuable resources to the next generation. This idea led to discovering an ideal relationship with nature. To change the world dramatically. It all begins with one person's small idea. This is why we will continue to search for new ideas to benefit us all. To find new ways to connect the world around us. People with goods. Countries with countries. Cultures with cultures. Hearts. With hearts. The present and the future. What should we connect next? It is our calling to find the answer. To make a more prosperous world for the next generation. Generation 
to generation. Marubeni. Connecting the world around us, we are the General Trading Company, Marubeni. The grain market is becoming ever tighter as the world population increases and developing countries grow rapidly. Madubeni has spent many years building its own logistics route, a powerful tool in the global market. The key to the grain business is the organization of logistics routes and the creation of as many combinations of production and consumption areas as possible. It may seem like we're just trading grains, but the ultimate deciding factor is logistics, moving grains from point A to point B. The global strategic point for grain trading is the United States. All the world's grain trading information is gathered at Marubeni's control center here on a real-time basis. Traders carefully observe the ever-changing situation of production areas, logistics, and consumption areas, arranging pieces like a puzzle to respond precisely to customers' needs. The cornerstones of the network connecting the production and consumption areas are the large-scale grain export terminals. One of them is Portland's Terminal 5, one of North America's major export bases and one of the largest export terminals on the West Coast. Freight trains over 100 cars long continuously bring in grains from inland production areas to the series of soaring grain elevators. Then the grains are loaded into gigantic ocean-going vessels anchored there and shipped all over the world. In 2004, Marubeni formed a strategic alliance with ADM, one of America's largest grain companies for production, import, and sales. ADM works to connect the harvest to the home, transforming crops into vital needs of food and energy. Marubeni has a strong global network and domestic network through a coordinated effort of respective logistics and grain procurement handling expertise, we are able to reduce costs to our customers, ensuring the best price for their commodities. Since then, we've strengthened our relationship in a variety of ways, including a recent joint venture for ocean freight cooperation. The grains are then exported from the export terminals to consumption areas around the world. Tokachi Port Hokkaido. In 2010, Marubeni constructed a giant grain silo park in Tokachi Port. This is expected to revolutionize the livestock feed logistics of the entire region of Hokkaido. In Asia, due to the ever-growing GNP of the Chinese market, import volumes of grain have increased and the country has become the center of Asian and Southeast Asian markets. The Chinese market in grains is one of the most important markets for us. Currently, China is importing 45 million tons of soybeans. They exceed the total import volume of Japan for all grains, 30 million tons with soybeans alone. Therefore, we have formed a comprehensive alliance with China's Sinegrain Group. Madubeni has also foreseen the increase in flour demand and invested in Shanghai's bakery chain, Christine Group. I believe another key to the grain business is the trade volume. To increase our volume, we plan to expand our marketing and distribution routes not only to markets in Asia, but also to Eastern Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. Our vision is to be on par with the grain majors and increase our grain supply bases throughout the world. Marubeni is connecting the world with a strong network.
In 2008, Madhubani acquired a 30% share in both the Esperanza and El Tesoro projects from Antofagasta in Chile. This is one of the largest copper projects in the world and an excellent project that had captured the attention of the world's major resource companies. Marubeni's total investment for the Esperanza and El Tesoro projects was 1.9 billion U.S. dollars. At the exchange rate of the time, this was 200 billion yen, approximately one quarter of our company's total equity. In the resources business, from time to time, we are faced with big decisions regarding future projects. Of course, there is risk with all investments. However, we believe the biggest risk is not to participate in such a project. Madhubeni did not succeed in this massive project simply with its offer price. Antofagasta chose the company because of our dedication to the project and the reliability of our past record. Our relationship with Marubeni began as business partners at the Los Pelambres copper mine. And with the mutual trust cultivated through the long-term relationship between both companies' board members, we have gathered momentum to further expand our businesses. The result is our current partnership at the Esperanza and El Tesoro copper mines. When we implement a new project, the most important qualities we seek in a partner are a similar sensitivity and viewpoint as us in such issues as the environment or our relationship with the local communities. As our partner company, Marubeni's quick decision-making in every field was a crucial element in the environmental assessment survey and in acquiring financing from banks around the world. El Tesoro Copper Mine is already producing 100,000 tons of copper metal annually. Also, the copper ore mined and refined at Esperanza is transported to port via a 147-kilometer long pipeline. It is then shipped to many countries around the world, including Japan. Madhubeni's participation in the Esperanza copper mine led to copper supply to all refineries in Japan. In turn, this has contributed to the strength of the project's financing. The Esperanza Copper Mine Project was awarded a 2009 Project Finance International Award. PFI is one of the famous awards in the industry. We believe the Esperanza Project received its award because of the excellent nature of the project itself and its ability to finance the massive 1.05 billion US dollar amount. As a result, we believe the industry's trust in Marubeni has further strengthened. The important points in the resource business are the ability to discern risks and opportunities and the personal skills to cultivate trust between people and between companies. Marubeni is connecting countries in a stable partnership. The giant Tawila Power Generation and Desalination Complex, providing the electricity and water for Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates, is one of Madhubeni's IWPP projects. Madhubeni's power projects business continues to succeed overseas. Where does its current strength come from, and what is the future direction of the business? The origin of Madhubeni's overseas power and infrastructure projects began in Asia based upon our leading role in the implementation of EPC power plant delivery there. With this EPC, Marubeni has focused on proactively leading and coordinating the overall contract. I think this experience has led to the success of the IPP business of today. Since 2000, Marubeni's power project and infrastructure business has expanded from Asia into the Middle East. The beginning of Marubeni's rapid growth in the region was a water transmission scheme in Abu Dhabi. This project was highly praised by the Abu Dhabi Water and Electricity Authority. Then, in 2005, Madhubeni won the massive 3 billion US dollar Tawila BIWPP contract, signing an agreement to sell electricity and water over 20 years. 
الأدوية طبعاً هي هي الأدوية is the authority responsible for the water and electricity sector in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. When we request a privatization project, we start evaluating the companies presented according to their scale, experience, and financial strength. We have high regard for Madhubani's past record of success in a wide variety of projects, as well as its financial strength. The main aim behind this privatization program is to transfer knowledge and know-how to the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. Currently, Madhubani owns overseas IPP assets in 21 countries. In 2009, a financing agreement exceeding two billion U.S. dollars was signed for the Shwaihat S2 power generation and desalination project. In Asia, Madhubani has demonstrated its financial strength in the purchase of Singapore's largest power company, Sanoko Power Project. These projects also received PFI awards in 2009. We also aim to enter vertically integrated power generation businesses such as in the Bahamas and Jamaica. Furthermore, we want to proactively participate in such fields as renewable energy. Madhubani's power projects and infrastructure business will not be content with one fixed business model, but will continue to seek out new fields. Madhubani is connecting the past and the future with constant innovation. Connecting the world around us. What should we connect next? It is our calling to find the answer and change the world. To make a more prosperous world for the next generation. Generation to generation. Marubeni. Founded in 1858, 30,000 group employees, 4.6 trillion yen in total assets, located in 71 countries worldwide. We are the general trading company Marubeni. In a world that is changing drastically, our convictions remain firm. A philosophy of fairness, innovation, and harmony. With this belief in mind, we strive for sustainable growth. The 12 sales divisions together are working tirelessly to reach this objective. To realize a strong Marubeni. To be a partner exceeding our customers' expectations. Here is an introduction of the 12 sales divisions of the general trading company, Marubeni. From raw material procurement to retail sales, the food division is involved in various trading and operations in Japan and abroad.